I can't do this unless I have someone to call Morty. But uh, we're gonna go to Smashville. The luck and Uno will not, luck will not go Falcon. They're gonna go to the, the team that's been a tried and true success for them. But Blue has switched to his true main, which is Mewtwo. Hey, I know he likes uh, Charizard for doubles, but you know Mewtwo is his best character. So always go for your best. At the Grand Finals, and this is an established team that I believe beat them in losers, if in winners bracket, if I'm not mistaken. Ooh, wow! Un uh, Uno's just gonna get the spike right off the bat. Uno is never afraid to go for that down air. And, you know, it's a slow spike, but it has a really large hitbox. Oh, and Blue's going to respond with his own spike, but Blue locks at too low percent. With the upbeat, not enough to... Oh, but Uno finishes off Mewtwo. That was really, really impressive, because Luck just went from being spiked to up being out of a neutral getup, and then Uno finishes the job. Really excellently done. All right, so a bit of neutral here. I don't see enough Fox play. Ten's really the only one that comes around here, so... You know, apart from the occasional Larry match I see, I don't really know Fox things that well. Ooh, oh, no, missed the tech. He sent it at a weird angle, but uh, he did s the, the angle that he was bounced at made it pretty much impossible to recover. So that's unfortunate, but oh my god, Luck and Uno still have all three stocks. Ten's already down to his last. And again, Luck and Uno are absolutely an established team. They are, they're both PR'd in the city and the state. So. Oh, good up smash. Oh, wow, okay. The last hit of Blue's up smash just barely grazed Luigi. He'll take him out. But they still have a long way back. They are two stocks behind. Yeah, Uno... Okay. Uno's probably going to recover. Yep. I think... I don't know if Blue had been recognizing that Blue that, uh, Uno had been recovering high a lot, but he just... Uh, he saw that approach coming and just went for a back air. Which, uh, Mewtwo's back air is not the strongest, but it has a lot of range. And if you get it on the sweet spot, it can kill, you know, around the hundreds at the ledge. For those of you who don't know how Mewtwo's tail works, it's actually stronger at the base. All right, down throw. Ooh, oh, baits out the Mewtwo air dodge, which is so hard to punish, but gets the beep boop. Oh, the garden to plan. Oh my god, oh no. Oh man, I've seen people, in PM I know it's a thing where you can like, do like three fares, B reverse your up B, and then back air for a finisher, but looks like that didn't happen. If you watch GR Smash's uh, top 10 fastest stocks, one of them uh, has that in there. Granted, that's PM, I don't know if it's the same as uh, Smash 4 Lab. Just in terms of the fair mechanics. All right, good up smash for Blue. Again, that up smash ordinarily is used to catch landings, but Rob's tall enough for him to catch it. And I think Luigi might be as well. Oh, he just waited for... Oh, I like that. He waited, went for jab once, he'd get a free grab. And got a throw off of it. That being said, he is down four stocks to one. So, not looking good. Down through. Yeah, they're just going to go safe. And there's no need not to go safe. Like, I know a lot of people, and, like, I've been in this situation before, people, like, credit the one player that's surviving, and maybe they'll get, like, two socks off even. But the thing is, when you're in this situation, the two players are focused on just being safe. And uh, so you might see them play well just because they're not being as aggressive. They don't have to be. All right, the fair. Fair will kill Rob off the top. So, you know, he Blue has done very well. He's taken two stocks in this 2v1 situation. But he's still down two stocks, and he's taking a lot of damage as a result. They just focused on getting damage on him, and that's why this strategy tends to work. Because then you're in a position where you just have to get juggled on. Oh, Weege. Oh, no Weege boop. Blue has been wise to notice that they've been going for the Weege boop as their go-to team combo. Oh, I like that. Down throw back air. And uh, in order to do that, Uno has to double jump, so Blue needed DI down so that he wouldn't get hit. Up throw will be enough on the platform. Mewtwo is light, 165%. That will do it. So Luck and Uno will take game one. Remember, they are on the winner's side. They only need to take two more games, and that will end doubles. Blue and Ten need to force the reset. And Blue and Ten, you know, good on them for just making a grand final. I know they had not, I don't think they'd ever teamed before. So they've done a very good job to get to this point. Because, you know, I noticed earlier on in the tournament their, uh, their synergy was just a bit off at points. And, it, and I, from what I could tell, it was still a bit off here, but definitely much improved in that time. And that's what you expect out of good players. They always adapt to the situation and uh, know what to do. All right, so we'll see where they want to go. I know Blue and Ten would love to go to Battlefield, and I believe they're... Oh, no, they're going right back to Smashville. I don't know if I agree with this personally. I think that Battlefield is a better pick for Blue and Ten's team. And they are doing the no bans. I believe they're doing no bans for Grand Finals, so... It's just Dave's stupid rule that's in effect. So, yeah, Blue and Ten looked... Oh, Mewtwo's shield looking extremely small. 
Blue and Ten looking like their uh, their main goal is to just uh, maintain a stage presence, take a defensive stance, let the others come to them. And they've got them on opposite sides, which is always a good sign. Oh, okay, Mewtwo's Nair actually beats Rob's Gyro. I didn't know that would work. All right. Fox does have that frame three Nair that he can pretty much uh, use to break out of combos when he has to. And that's important, because Fox is combo food because of his uh, fall speed. Hot bat fastest fall speed in the game. It does mean he dies off the top not as easily, but he's still extremely light, so he dies off the top early anyway. I wonder if Blue and Ten have an idea of uh, using Shadow Ball Reflector to cover the entire stage. Because uh, reflected moves are more powerful. That being said, I haven't seen him go for it. And I don't think they really have to. It's more of a thing that I've thought about and when I've said teams with like Palutena. Ooh, oh my god! There can be only Uno! One up smash will take out everybody! <laughs> People can't hear me. <laughs> Everyone's mad about that one. It's fine. I might have just birthed a new one. <laughs> Alright, the up air. Yeah. You notice the Rob players just love to hold on to their gyro? Because Rob doesn't have a fast aerial move to get out of uh, out of combos. His fast is forward air, but it doesn't really cover all over him. So you hold the gyro, you can at least Z-drop it really quickly and get out of combos with that. Oh wow, just the gyro just shuffling everywhere. And it's hitting everybody. It's kind of crazy. And again, the annoying thing about gyro is that it bounces. That makes the hitbox active a lot longer. Yeah, Ten's prepared for an option. Oh, but he just, he rolled. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I agree with that. I also like what Ten's doing by uh, focusing on up tilt to start all of his combos. I know that's a basic Fox thing, but that's important for doubles because, as you saw, Blue got hit by that. But that's a move that's not at risk to ever kill. So that keeps Blue a little bit safer. I think Uno's expired his jump, so Blue's probably going to go and edge guard him. Yeah, oh, up air, killing at an interesting angle there, admittedly. But yeah, Blue's team has a stock lead right now. I like that. Use your time to charge up Shadow Ball. And Mewtwo can punish on platforms for free with that neutral air. The reason it's... it's um, When you look at the numbers, it shouldn't be as hard to punish as it is. What I say, what I mean by that is that shield stun in this game, since the patch is determined by the damage that it does, Mewtwo has a multi-hit move, so it does less damage per hit, which means that it's not as safe on shield. As a result, uh, it's, you know, not, exact, not, it's not that safe. It does have a little landing lag, but it's not safe because of the lack of shield stun. But... Mewtwo has great airspeed, so he can land behind his opponent, so they have to pretty much respond with a fast F tilt, a move that they can do that'll hit behind them while standing forward. Not every character can do that. Ooh, I, li I like it. He waited for the air dodge, but Luck actually air dodged at the perfect time there. Ooh, down smash. I'm t okay, I'm not quite sure. I think I think a very strong kill move hit Mewtwo's neutral air and just kind of stopped everything. That was a little weird. All right, good in air. Oh, the fair... Oh, no. Blue killed Fox. That's really unfortunate. That being said, they're at high percentage. This is this far from over. Up throw. Not going to do it yet. That's going to be a problem, though. Even though it's 2v1, Blue has to worry about staling kill moves now. It can absolutely be a factor. They're at high percent, though. You got to think that, like, a fair would be enough to do it. But we're going to get a weech boop. Oh, no. Just barely gets to the end of it. And Blue will take out Uno. Oh, but Lux Up Smash will be right there to cover the landing. Well done. And you can always count on Luck to just keep his cool in that kind of situation. Because, like, I would have probably panicked if my teammate just died and I like, realized that I could lose. You know, that's just a difference in the mentality of a, of a player my level and, you know, a real top-level player. It's all about that mental fortitude. And Luck, you know, absolutely on display. And, you know, Luck's been on fire lately. He's been placing very high. Of course, he won Weeb Everest two weeks ago, um, as well as got second to too many games. So Losing to Angel Cortez. And... All right, we're going on to game three, potentially uh, potentially final game, as uh, Luck and Uno are on the winner's side. Right. Ooh, oh, that was really... I don't know if that was intentional or not, but uh, Blue managed to uh, release the side... the release of the new... Oh, release the neutral B at just enough angle that it didn't hit Fox, but hit the guy that he was comboing. That was really nice. If they could do that on purpose, I could see that being a great tech, but I don't think that was on purpose. Okay. Down throw. Nope, no boop. Oh, wait for the up smash, but not enough to kill Fox. That's false speed coming into play. If that were a floatier character, it would have been dead. Hmm. 
I also like how Luck and Uno are, uh, hey. I have a match? Okay. I have my next winner's bracket match. <laughs> Sorry, I had to be that. Uh, I will leave you in the capable hands of Musty. All right. Sorry about that, guys. I'm here to commentate you for now. And it appears that um, it's a determined point for blue and 10 right now. That is super unfortunate. Now we have to see Luck and Uno see if they can take this tournament or if all up blue and uh, 10 can hoist a comeback here. Which will not looking so as red team is sitting pretty with six stocks as opposed to blue team's four. Oh, never mind. I take that back. Nice, uh, nice uh, shadow ball there. Going to take that stock back. Handed one back to him. And the jab combo accidentally going to hit blue. It just seems that blue and 10, their synergy is just a little bit off. And they're messing up on quite a couple of team uh, team conversions. Which is very unfortunate for them as right now they really need to land them. This is a do or die for them in the doubles bracket. But that up air going to finish, uh, finish Luck off. Luck has been doing a fantastic... In both of the sets that these uh, two teams have played, Luck has been doing... In insanely good job of holding his onto his stocks which he has always been very good of the doubles but unfortunately uno gonna put on the fort uh unnecessary damage there to uh to luck no jab jab to forward smash and that's gonna be four stocks to three makes the situation even more dire for blue team blue going for a spike uno going for a spike of his own but protects himself in the perfect way and now blue team down to two stocks each or just one stock each two stocks total and red team sitting at pretty four. This is looking very hard for blue team to pull back. If they would have to if they if they wanted to hoist a comeback, they would definitely have to take a stock now. But now blue is taking so much damage that his stock is in indeed danger. Oh, but that forward air even it up a little. Three stocks to two now. Dash attack even go to miss. Ah, oh, and that's the bad synergy I was talking about. Hitting his own teammate with it, and he's gonna go for a very deep recovery, and that's the end. Oh, nice, st nice spike though. Unfortunately, two stocks to one. Is blue known to be a very good player, but he needs to get like something insane right now. And right now, it's not looking like po it's possible. It's air dodging the escape. Charge a shadow ball. This is do or die time. And now Uno is trolling with the. Oh, messes it up. <laughs> and now Uno is messing around, doing whatever the heck that. He oh, nice SDI. Goes for the spike too. Oh, SDI is out again. Blue is on his lifeline. He does not want, to want this to be over, but that is it. And that concludes doubles. Luck and Uno double eliminate Blue and 10 with two three O's to boot. Very nice performance. I'm not even sure that Luck and Uno dropped a game this tournament.